Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. First things first, after this video, there's one other video that I've recorded, which I'll be posting. And then I'm going on a little bit of break from social media, a teeny weeny break. I have never taken a break in four years and I definitely need it now. So I hope you understand. There's so many things going on in my life right now, which need my focus and attention, especially on the family side. It's all good. So nothing to worry about. And I'll keep you guys updated and posted on everything and probably make a video as well. Uh, so hang in there, stay in touch, keep sending me messages. And for now, let's begin today's tutorial. It's going to be on this tealish blue color soft cut crease. And I'll show you how to do it very easily. And it looks absolutely stunning. So I hope you enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's begin. As always, I'm starting with my brows. And today I'm going to be using the Revlon Brow Pen. I'm going to first fill in the top part of my brows, use the spoolie to brush my brow hair upwards and fill in the lower part. And if you want more information on how to use different types of brow products and which one is best suited for your kind of brows, I'm going to link that video right on top as well as in the description box. So make sure to check that out. Using the Milani concealer, again, I'm in the shade 145, if you didn't know, I'm going to clean up underneath the brows as well as use it on my lids as a primer for the eyeshadows. And then I'm going to set only in the crease area using the Colourpop setting powder to make the blending easy. I'm going to start by highlighting my brow bones as well as inner corners using the Maybelline Master Chrome. You can use any highlighter that you have. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be using So Jaded by Colourpop. In the crease area, as a transition, I'm going to be first using Amethrine and the blending brush that I'm using is the Sigma E40. It's a very soft, light color eyeshadow and it's perfect for transition. And if you want to make it any deeper, you can definitely add more color or you can use another eyeshadow at the crease like I will be doing. To deepen the crease further, I'm going to be using Garnet and I'm just using the same blending brush. I'm going to focus right at the crease and soften it so it blends out with the transition shade that i used before this and i'm also going to use this eyeshadow in the outer corner i'd like to deepen the crease just a tad bit more so i'm going to be using jasper and if you observe the blending brush that i'm using it's tapered on top it's a flat blending brush so it's going to focus the eyeshadow right at the crease and will not spread it as much as i did with the other eyeshadows because i used a round blending brush for the other eyeshadows On my lid, I'm going to do a soft cut crease using turquoise and the brush that I'm using is a flat shader brush by Folklore. I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle on top of this because it's pretty matte. So I'm going to be using just a tad bit of aquamarine using the same flat shader brush from Folklore. I'm going to be applying it right on top of turquoise. I'm using a blending brush in the outer corner just to make sure everything is well blended and then using a little bit more of garnet I'm going to smoke it out in my lower lash line using a pencil brush. Using the Maybelline black gel liner I'm going to pull out a small wing as well as line my top lash line. In my lower waterline, I'm going to be using a turquoise eye pencil and this one's from Colourpop. And then I'm going to slightly extend the eyeliner in the inner corner, joining it with my lower lash line. And that gives that extended cat eye look. 
I'm finishing up with some mascara but before that I'm going to curl my lashes and for mascara I'm using this one from Pixi, the Large Lash Mascara which is a brand new one and for lashes I'm going to be using the Tati Lashes in TL9. And here's the completed eye look. It is so wearable, although colorful. So next time you're in a turquoise outfit, try to remember this eyeshadow look. I decided to pair this with a rose nude lipstick. So I'm going to be using Refine from Ofra Cosmetics. And here is the completed look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you try to recreate this look, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed down below in the description box. For your convenience as well as information, I'm listing everything that I've used in this tutorial in the description box right below this video. So make sure to check that out. I truly enjoy your company, your love, your support, and I love you guys so much. Stay in touch while I'm gone. I want to keep you guys updated on everything that's happening. So make sure you follow me on my socials. They're all listed down below in the description box. I love you guys so much and hopefully I see you soon. Bye. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under streetlights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do